Hello everyone, this is Lightstar, and I would like to share my 2021 channeled message from Ascended Master Hilarion. I bring these messages forth at the end of each year so that you can have a better idea of what's coming up and what energies will be in effect for the following year. In the past, many of my channeled messages have been published in the Sedona Journal of Emergence, so you'll be able to find my previous channeled messages in that publication. However, due to the length of this particular message, you won't find this channeling in that publication. You will only find it here in its entirety. There is obviously a lot more going on in the world right now, and so this message was a bit more lengthy than my previous messages. So bear with me here as we just dive right in to this very important message. The title of this message is The Transition from Fear to Empowerment. A most brilliant, warm greeting to all beautiful lights. It is with great honor that I greet you at this time. I send love and heartfelt inspiration to every soul. It is with a breath of healing light that we briefly review the past year of 2020, which has been a most challenging one for all of humanity. In light of this, I feel you would all appreciate a large dose of love and support for the difficulties you've endured. With this time, I send waves of love of the highest magnitude for support and comfort from the Ascended Realms. From these Ascended Realms and the Angelics, Galactics, and Elementals, we are aware of the strain and stress that this difficult year of 2020 has worn upon you all. There were many travesties unleashed that were quite unexpected and trials and tribulations initiated across the globe. The energetics of the word you call pandemic seared into the world like a chaotic runaway train. I do not encourage the use of this word pandemic because it instigates fear. However, I will refer to it here merely just for the context of this transmission, since it is a word that has been widely circulated in 2020. Whatever attachment you have to this word, know that it has no power over you unless you give it power. So please keep in mind that this word pandemic is a human-derived construct which was intended to promote fear and panic into the psyche of humanity. But the manner in which this word was utilized in 2020 was not actually based in truth. There were many false assumptions and tainted information provided to humanity, leading many people astray to the truth and reality of the situation. Did this so-called pandemic affect all of you in some way, shape, or form, either directly or indirectly? Yes. Did this event justify all the fear and hysteria? No. The events that unfolded in 2020 caused much fear and confusion in the collective, which ultimately resulted in an even greater web of fear-based decisions being made. The leaders of your Earth needed to make decisions quickly, which fueled and exaggerated existing fear and panic, thus creating shock to humanity as a whole. But I wish to bring encouragement in knowing that however morose this has all been for you, please do not fall into despair for there is a reprieve just around the corner, but you must have patience with yourself and your brothers and sisters as you traverse forward into 2021. First, I would like to provide some insight into the events that have unfolded in 2020. Within the scope of these insights I bring forth, I suggest that we allow for flexibility 
when we use the term prediction. It is not a precise construct, and because of free will, which is malleable, and most especially in this point in time, when circumstances and events can twist and turn outcomes, we must learn to be flexible. There are many different angles and nuances to view from each choice that is made, and endless possibilities that could occur from these choices. What I provide with these insights is the energetic higher vibrations that are possibilities and potentialities in any given event or circumstance. Timeline Adjustments Many on Earth faced difficult circumstances in 2020 in what appeared to be a barrage of never-ending cascade of stressful events, which led to record-breaking loss of life, financial stress, and international upheaval on countless fronts. I realize that in many ways all of this seems so unnecessarily unfair. The question, how could this happen, circulated amidst a cloud of surreal disbelief. Indeed, life on earth can be challenging. My heart goes out to all of you who are experiencing suffering in this timeline. However, please recall that although you inhabit a human suit on earth, you are not this suit. And what you are experiencing is merely what you would call the ebb cycle of the ebb and flow of the tides on your planet in the larger scope of things. Know that this is temporary. Please know that the flow of the tides will be back and you will not be stuck in the ebbing cycles forever. Yes, you could look backward and think that the chaotic energies of this cycle could have been prevented, didn't need to happen, that it was all an evil master plan, and all the rest of that line of thinking. While it is true, that this extreme loss of life did not need to happen, and there were other outcomes that were indeed more desirable, it is paramount for you all to remember that free will of thought is always in effect in both the collective and the individual. Because of this latitude, therein exists a myriad of possible outcomes. Any one major action that is taken that deviates from any given projected timeline will cause a shift in the particular trajectory of that outcome. Nevertheless, the main reason for the unfavorable event that transpired, that you term as the pandemic, actually occurred because there was a timeline that was in alignment and focus for a more optimistic direction, but that was essentially hijacked in 2020 and replaced with a more insidious timeline of events. This was not exactly by mere accident either, but rather a delivery from negative factions that have woven their webs into the fabric of Earth for centuries. These dark factions are only interested in global domination and will stop at nothing to create pain, suffering, loss, and disempowerment over your entire race. However, just because these rogue agendas were unleashed in 2020, this does not mean that timeline will be the final outcome. 2021 will be a new and exciting year for establishing new directions for the collective consciousness, where you will all have opportunities to make profound individual and group choices on how you wish to move forward on Gaia. Remember that the dark forces are not the only ones who can adjust timelines. You all have the power to make changes and adaptations to the timelines as a collective and unified front. As you rise together, empowered in love and unity, darkness will have no rivalry. For secrets, lies, and corruption cannot withstand higher and purified frequencies of love. This is why it will be the utmost importance for you all 
to carry forth a high vibration in 2021, no matter what comes. You will all be changing timelines in 2021, so be prepared for more change to come. Although you have already experienced a large influx of shifts in the global upheaval of 2020, there will be a significant amount of change still yet to come, and a fair amount of turbulence that will still be enmeshed in the collective field. 2021 will be a culmination of a number of progressive shift adjustments that will require you all to harness your abilities to embrace change and diligent focus will need to take place in order to smooth over and sort out what has already occurred from 2020. Having said this, I want to provide an optimistic viewpoint as this exciting year will bring much gratification and transformational change that will benefit all of you individually and collectively in the future years to come. Transformational Change and Reform There will be many changes made this year all across the globe in just about every sector. There is no way around this. It might appear and feel as though you are riding on a roller coaster for much of the year. However, things do need to change, and those who have been on the pathway of reformation for many years will truly understand this. This is what you've all been waiting for, speaking about, and writing about for years. Now you are all in the trenches, so to speak. Systems need to transition into higher vibration for all of humanity, and in order to do so, that means some of these old patterns and systems that were archaic and stagnant must now be revised and updated. While 2020 was a year of initiation, to bubble to the surface all of the areas that were disempowering and antiquated, 2021 will be a year of transformational change, transition, reformation, and rebuilding. Government and private sectors that have the opportunity to shift into a higher vision will do so. The old systems will be surfaced like revolutions with much resistance. For as you've all noticed, change does not come easily for humanity. These revolutionary energies will be challenging, but they will eventually lead to exposure, disclosure, and ultimately accountability and transformation for those on Earth who have previously carried out secretive and harmful agendas for the whole of humanity. Those individuals and systems that choose not to reform and or review the discrepancies and incongruencies they have created will have a difficult time riding this roller coaster year with ease. You could also view this year as a cleanup from previous situations that occurred in 2020. A vacuum cleaner will shower through the entire globe, cleaning and purging all of the issues that can no longer function effectively in the future. The potentiality that humanity has right now in this time frame is profound. There is a huge forward momentum of progression and the desire to create a higher vibration within the whole of humanity is emerging. Actually, the years spanning 2020 through 2023 will be very significant years on Earth. The potentiality and opportunities for making great strides with reevaluating outdated systems and establishing new prototypes that resonate more with unity consciousness will be at the forefront. That cleansing vacuum needs to protrude into every nook and cranny of the globe in order to surface the dirt, thickness, and heaviness that resides in the rooms of humanity. This type of process does not happen quickly, but rather meticulously and with great detail. So please honor yourselves in this process and know that you are greater than you think you are. You have much more strength within you 
to make these shifts and changes than you may realize. Corporate Restructuring If you recall, 2020 displayed an enormous shift in the corporate structure. I have spoken of this in past channeled material where there was a movement towards corporations becoming much more employee-centric. Whatever the circumstances were that heralded this into fruition in 2020, this did in fact occur. Many issues and problems within the existing corporate structure were brought to the surface because of the events that unfolded. This also surfaced areas within corporate structures that were not working for the benefit of all involved and began to rise and shift in 2020. Smaller businesses, independent contractors, and self-employed individuals were now deemed able to participate in benefits they were not previously eligible for in the past. The door was opened and the scope widened for the benefit of smaller workforces to become more participatory than ever before. This is a wonderful step to have occurred for the long run. In 2021, there will be more restructuring occurring in this corporate sector. Businesses will be able to realign their models to be more respectful and honoring of their employees. The vibrational energy will be transitionary in 2021 in this area. This will not happen all in one year, but it will be the starting point and launching pad of a new dawn in this arena. The mentality and the flow of business will be shifting overall. Again, more companies will value their employees and be more forthcoming and proactive to help and take care of their personal needs in much more of a supportive and efficient way. Although, keep in mind that this process holds more of a resistant energy about it as there will be tendencies towards push-pull on both sides. Some will have difficulties with these changes Others will move with the adjustments more swiftly. Some will be happy with the adjustment, others will not. However, these shifts will ultimately serve for the highest benefit of all involved because those who are unhappy with the shifts will then be prompted to move into their own entrepreneurial endeavors or create and magnetize more fulfilling work for themselves. Creation of New Industries Many of your daily routines were disrupted in 2020. There was a higher purpose for this, most especially for those who had what you would call time on your hands, and yet were still able to actively remain taking care of your finances. This wave of opportunity was set in place to provide you with introspection, and reflection regarding where you've been in your lives and where you would like to move forward. It provided ample time for you to do this inner work and deep dive, to make decisions about what you would like for your futures. If you were in a job position that you were not happy with, or it wasn't supportive financially, or it was a toxic environment, you are given the opportunity to reflect upon these things and decide if this is the direction you wish to continue. If you have not done this inner deep dive as of yet, I urge you to do it now. The opportunity for inner reflection is always available to everyone in each and every moment. However, since the energy wave will be moving towards change in 2021, this will be a favorable time to make these shifts. So ask yourself this question, what can I offer humanity that I have not yet discovered within myself? Although it might seem like the disruptions to your lives in 2020 were not opportunities to move forward, it provided that downtime to be able to connect with your higher self and become very clear. Due to this reflective time, 
a variety of fresh opportunities for the establishment of new types of jobs and industries will be opening up in 2021. New sectors and areas of industry will come abroad on all fronts. Manufacturing will be expanding. Ideas will flow regarding expansion of products and services in novel ways, which will promote and foster unique forms of international trade to flourish. Although scarcity vibration may have been in full effect for 2020, this will begin to be lifted for 2021 because there will be an upsurge in the need for more evenly distributed product supply chains. This new direction will initiate the start of building new bridges to prosperity, which will create more abundance for many businesses. This will all help everyone across the board reorganize and restructure their respective industries towards forward growth and sustainability. Resourcefulness, Optimism, and Responsibility Being innovative and creative in the way that you interact with others and also generating new ideas for your future will be emphasized this coming year. Old ways of thinking in your past will no longer work well as they once did, but you will now have opportunities to get on board with your creative projects in unique ways. The initiation of 2021 will create a mind shift of creativity and innovativeness that takes you beyond your limitations and into resourcefulness. You become your own knight in shining armor. So if you find yourself with a defeatist attitude, this must not be allowed to continue. For in this changeable year, whatever and wherever your energy flows will be right where it goes, with an even greater emphasis. Be very aware of your energy and do not let it get the best of you no matter what the circumstances or how challenging it might appear. Remember your center point and come back to it consistently. If you find yourself snared into any type of fear, scarcity, or confusion mentality, you must also be very diligent and stop these streams of thoughts and emotions before they spiral out of control. In 2021, it will be vitally important for you all to master your inner guidance and be able to navigate this terrain with stability and trust. This may not be easy due to the multitude of changes occurring, but it will also provide a test of your abilities that you have gained within the previous years. Significant and ample time has been provided for humanity to reflect in silence and clarity. It is now time to put these abilities to the test. What have you learned so far? What do you still need to learn? How effective are you at grounding yourself in the midst of chaotic energies? How resourceful are you? In order to gain mastery of oneself, there needs to be testing ground opportunities. This will be a potent year for you all to prove yourself to yourself emulate mastery, and test your capabilities in real-world scenarios. Take responsibility for your actions, words, and behaviors and rise to each occasion. Always view each situation with the glass completely full, not empty. Be empowered and inventive with creating your own solutions for the issues you face both personally and collectively. No one will do this for you. In 2020, many of you were spiritually tested to see how well you can stay in connection with your higher self in the midst of immense change. In 2021, the focus now shifts to training your abilities to transmit optimism and harmony amidst chaotic change. What will be emphasized is the manner in which you think and behave 
within the context of rebuilding your social structures and the collective consciousness. And don't forget, you have much support from the Ascended Realms for assistance at any point along the way. But it will be up to each one of you to manage your own personal terrain. Unification through action. In 2020, you all had to make very important decisions in lieu of the events that unfolded. At each and every step, you may have felt stumbling blocks, but these blocks showed up because humanity as a whole was ready to face them. In 2021, these stumbling blocks now become malleable clay with which you can all work together to shape, reform, and begin to reconstruct that which has been shattered. There is only one way to display what is not working on your world, transparency. All that is hidden, which cannot sustain itself, will eventually be revealed. This includes duality, both light and dark. That was the purpose of 2020. Now that you can all see the vulnerabilities in the collective armor, neglected personal situations that need attention, or societal constructs that need an overhaul, you are ready to reinvent. With the new energies of 2021, you will have a much more clear sense of what you're working with. You've also learned what happens when you do not stand together, when humanity becomes divided and infused with anger and hatred. This has been displayed most apparently, no matter what country you reside in. You have all had a front row seat in this collective movie, and yet you have actually been the writers, directors, producers, and actors of this film production all along the way. The decisions that you make now will actually foreshadow how your movie production progresses in the future. Do you all want to create an action-packed thriller, a horror movie, magical fantasy, comedy, or a love story with a happy ending, or perhaps a combination of the few? The choice is yours collectively. From the multidimensional realms, we don't see things from a perspective of judgment, but rather choices that are made one way or the other, which are always in a state of flux due to free will. If you choose to have hatred in your hearts for your fellow brothers and sisters, it is within your right to do so. If you choose to have love, compassion, and support for them, this is within your right as well. Your behaviors and your thoughts are your own, and you cannot blame these on one another. But I would urge you to take responsibility for your own thoughts and actions this year. Be the example and the mentor that you would like to see in the world. It will be vital for you all to step forward in action this year rather than taking a back seat. It will take all of you in unity to truly provide a harmonious environment conducive for love and support in order to properly rebuild your future effectively. Always remember the power of your collective abilities. This is something you all tend to forget at one point or another. When you are in unity, infusing your optimistic thoughts, focused on a single outcome of vibration, you immediately create that response within itself. In this expansive year of transformational change and upheaval, clearly discern the motivations of others and choose to align in unison with those who are interested in creating a brilliant future for all. Look beyond the mask of what someone is saying, be it in the political arena or personal interactions. Clearly feel the resonance of their core if they are coming from a center point of service to all, 
Or do they have an alternate agenda, a hidden agenda that resides in only service to self? Discern clearly and place your support in the court of those who serve the highest benefit to all of humanity. Rise of the Inner Warriors The emphasis of 2021 will be placing upon regaining empowerment recollecting strength from a spiraling downward trend of living in fear. This is hugely important for all of you to remember in going forward this year. You are the ones that will choose whether you would like to be shrouded in fear due to the circumstances around you or remain calm and become innovative in the midst of change. Be excited and engaged in the adventurousness of this year. For although there will be twists and turns throughout, moving forward into this year with an air of discovery and tenacity will ensure a much more fulfilling experience for yourself and your loved ones. Many souls will be making powerful personal changes within this year spiritually to awaken and expand. These awakenings and upgrades will prompt many of you to make dramatic shifts in your careers, geographical location, and relationships. Be kind and loving to yourself while making these adjustments. Be open and receptive with listening to your intuition on what is best for your particular situation. Do not be swayed or shifted away from what feels best for you. Be in full unison with your heart and mind, beautifully intertwined together like a mosaic. Do not be afraid to make massive internal changes that create different ways of thinking and behaviors that were not possible before. Let the energy waves of transformation gently place you appropriately in the position that you need to be in and not be afraid or meek in your actions. Fear will not win in the face of the awakened warriors. In this decisive year, the warriors of truth on your planet will be prompted to step up to the plate front and center. The warriors of light fuel them with power and inspiration, while the warriors of love encircle them all with divine support and healing. Only then does the secret trinity come alive, that all things are made possible in unity, honor, and brilliance. If there is turmoil and difficulty in communicating with your brothers and sisters this year, remember who you are at the core of your being and the matrix that connects you all together. 2021 will contain many difficult pills to swallow. Truths will be uncovered and relayed to the world that will come as shocking to many, and they will not be easy to digest from a humane perspective. You will all need each other for support. And those functioning as healers, teachers, coaches, and way showers on Gaia will be expanded in new ways so as to be more prepared for the influx of people that will need assistance with their transitions and adjustments. What you term as the evils of society will be more revealed and in somewhat graphic ways, and this will be challenging to the psyche of humanity. But remember that in order to make positive changes happen, difficult truths must first be revealed, and then the wounds can ultimately be healed. I do not say this to scare anyone or place fear in the midst. I only say this to prepare all of you for what may come forth. Although we in the Ascended Master Realms always provide inspiration, positivity, and optimism for humanity, we also realize that in order for a planet to advance as a collective, 
some truths may be uncovered along the way that may not be pleasant to experience, see, feel, or acknowledge. But once the shadows are revealed and darkness unveiled, thus begins the process of turning on the light once again towards love. Although I do not encourage feelings of fear and anger and hatred, there will be circumstances where you will face all of these emotions within, and you will all have choices about how you handle them in relation to judgment of others for the atrocities they have carried out. Please keep in mind that in this universe and beyond, all life begins with the spark of the Creator and the love that is composed within that energy. It is then one's free will choice that makes the decision to move forward into darkness or light, love or hatred, respect or disrespect. So be reminiscent of this and recall that each soul undergoes lifetimes of tests of their progression. Each soul is unique in its levels of advancement, but all souls are always provided ample experiences and opportunities to choose the higher path. If the soul chooses a lower path continually over and over again in multiple lifetimes, the soul can in fact become corrupted or excessively fragmented. And it is at that point in time when the ascended realms can step forward in making arrangements for that soul's therapeutic processes to take place. Even though you may see and or experience horrible behaviors and actions carried out by your fellow humans that may be difficult to understand, please recall that karmic balance is always in play. So refrain from harboring the same emotions of hatred, anger, and fear that have fueled these atrocities in the first place. Rise above the lower vibrations, keep your frequencies clean, and prevent yourself from spiraling into negative emotions. Have faith and always remember there is a higher orchestration at play in all things. Timing is key. Although 2021 will be influenced with a plethora of change, events will unfold in their appropriate time and order. And underneath all the rumblings of change, a sense of universal strength will begin to rise. In the midst of all the adjustments, you will begin to feel a core sense of courage and stability. When it comes to politics, many nations will begin to strengthen within themselves, as well as unite with other nations. These rebuilding phases will filter into the sectors of financial, healthcare, government, and social services. You will see a rise in people working diligently this year in these arenas in attempts to reorganize them. This also may bring forth disarray and discordance relating to the way people feel about how these sectors should shift. The decisions to change all the intricacies within these sectors will not be decided upon in one year, but the issues surrounding them will surface for debate and discussions. Some of the volatility you have seen in the past may still continue in 2021 as well. Nonetheless, you will also see resolutions of these issues coming about in 2021 or at the beginning stages of peaceful talks. As I have said before, these shifts and transformations occurring are happening within several years in the scope of a timeline. But since nothing is ever set in stone, Please know that there are always unseen variables that can occur to disrupt peaceful proceedings in these areas. In fact, you can almost count on some sort of disruption occurring this year that will attempt to thwart or reduce the speed in which these resolutions can be completed. Throughout all of this, 
If you all hold your energies towards the more positive trajectory, your collective consciousness will be able to shift this towards the optimal timeline of success. In summary, although there may be a tremendous amount of change this year, the most important thing for you all to remember is that you are in full control of your personal terrain. So since you do not have control over what others think or how they behave, it is best to keep a close recollection of this universal truth when in your interactions with one another. Stay as calm as possible when engaging in your daily lives, making decisions from your internal intuitive navigator rather than relying upon outside influences. If you are prompted to make external changes in your life, first, become centered and turn inward to make sure your guidance is coming from a grounded resonance from within rather than from fear, anxiety, pressure, or obligation. As uncomfortable disclosures and motives begin to be revealed and the hidden atrocities of human behavior begin to surface, Remain steadfast and remember these realities must be acknowledged in order for the healing process to occur. Be not in judgment, but rather in support of the truth being assertively revealed as karmic balance is being restored in the new timeline. Stay vigilant in your spiritual connections with your higher self from within and you will always have that guiding light of the Creator's love within the very heart and soul of your being. I close now with a quantum hug infused with the highest frequencies and sent across the entire collective as a wave of inspiration, optimism, and most of all, love. In loving service, Hilarion.